Hey, welcome to a day in my life. You're in the car already, D. Yeah, it's a little after nine and I needed to get out because I've been wanting to go out for the last three days or two days, three, say three days, three. And I just keep getting involved in things and then I don't feel like going. So I am going out first thing this morning. So, and I'm gonna do something that I don't normally do. And I've talked about this, but I am taking my breakfast on the road. I'm having a protein shake. A premier chocolate peanut butter. I know, I don't usually drink my breakfast, but I don't want to, I have three stops and I could be out a while and I don't like the way I get, and I'm not, am I not, first of all, am I not having a good hair day? Can we just, for a minute. Skin's looking, I know, okay. Sorry about that, but. So this will give me, and now here's the funny thing, I just posted in my Facebook group because I scanned this and it came up as two points. I thought these were three. So I put all the nutritional information, two points. So again, did this change and nobody told me? I could have swore this was three points. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought all the premieres were three. I don't have to scan the rest of them. So yeah, it comes up as two, nutritional comes up as two. So it's two. Two points on both um, healthy and WW, but it was always two on that plan. It's gonna give you 30 grams of protein. That's why I thought, you know what, 160 calories. I do not normally drink my breakfast. You know that, but I didn't want to not have it. So, oh, we're heading, first we're heading to Target because there's two things there that I want to get. Legendary Foods has chips. I want to try those. Number two, there's a line that I got in a subscription box. I can't remember the name. It's in my phone, I have to look, which is there. Um, it's called Juicy. I think it's Juicy. It's, but I'm using this serum and I absolutely love it. And I'm funny with serums because sometimes they're just so, but this serum is so nice. And they have a little gift set at Target on sale. You get three products. Um, they're not full size, but they're, they're I, one of them is, is the serum and there's two other products I wanted to try from them. So I thought, let's go try it. Plus they have the two things there that I want. I forgot to bring my other glasses. Darn it all, I hate these. And they're sitting at the little table, <sighs> sitting there saying, come bring me back in the car. And I don't do it. So, so yeah, so we're having a liquid breakfast and that, you know, I don't normally, not something I like to, I mean, sometimes I have a smoothie. I'm not, yeah, but I didn't feel like making a smoothie. There, there was the problem. I didn't feel like making the smoothie. I just didn't feel like doing it. So I thought this is convenient. <laughs> I always keep one of these in the fridge because these are my favorite ones just to drink. Oh, I was absolutely, it's like a chocolate peanut butter milkshake. And I thought about going to Frugi, which is a, a little shop that has smoothies, but it's not on the way to where I'm going. So it would have been late anyway. But speaking of late, you know, I'm doing this thing called Challenge D. And this challenge, this month's challenge, I should have a video on it, I never did, but we'll see. I've been challenged by two people so far. One is to do the Sugar Smart on Healthy Plan, which I am currently doing for the month, so yes. And I also was challenged to go to the Dollar Tree and get a healthy dinner for under 10 points and $10. That one might be hard. I mean, I could probably get a health, oh, this is so good. This is my stinking favorite. Oh my gosh. I don't like it at oatmeal. Fun fact, I don't. I don't like chocolate oats. Fun fact. Well, you'll be like, remember like the cereals, Count Chocula and I never liked any cereal that turned my milk chocolate. Now I love chocolate, but I don't like it in cereal. Don't like it at oats. I know, I'm weird. I, I admit that. My milk has to stay my milk. So I got, so, the, oh, my third challenge, which I probably may, I'm on the fence about doing because I'm very much a, I don't get it. I just don't get it. But I'm always willing to try something, especially when you're challenged because it's kind of like, and I'm not a person who's very competitive. Oh, I'm not. So the fact that I'm out of my comfort zone doing these, because I don't, because I really honestly don't care. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care. I don't, uh, so I lose. Okay. I'm not a person that's very competitive. I know a lot of people that are, and it's hard to be around people that are competitive because it's not about winning sometimes. It's about getting things done. And, you know, I don't know. I'm just not a competitive person. 
I normally just like kind of draw back, but this is putting me out of my comfort zone. So the next challenge, which I haven't done the Dollar Tree one yet, but yeah, I haven't really thought about it, but I will, um, is for me to do intermittent fasting for a month. So maybe after we're done, when November, maybe I, I thought about it being, it's only a month. I don't, it's not something, you know, but it's one of those intermittent fastings where I have to fast till like 12 o'clock. Now, I pretty much do a, what I call a slight intermittent fasting. I am usually, I probably do like a 15 hour fast. This is so good. Um, so yeah, I usually don't eat from 5.30, 6 at night till probably 9.30 in the morning. So that's a pretty good fast. In fact, yeah, see it's 9.07, I'm just finally having this. Um, so it's challenged me to probably like noon time. So it's basically skipping breakfast. <laughs> basically skipping breakfast. Um, and she said she only has two meals. Like you have an, like a window from like, I guess, I don't know, did you give me an eight hour window? But I don't like eating after dinner. So my window's gonna be 12 to six, which is six hours. So maybe I should do 11. I don't, and I just don't know, like, and I, and I think to myself, well, I guess I'll, I will probably eat less because I can't eat a lot. If ever, I, I'm a person who grazes. I like my meals. I like my snacks. So I like to eat like that. So this is basically going, I can't eat all at once. Like, okay, it's time to eat now. So I, I'm worried that I'm going to be eating too less. That's my worry. And then when I go back to regular eating, it's going to put the weight back on because I'm eating what I should be eating that's my fear. Right? I mean, you can't, you can't just, you know, here you have this window. You just can't just shovel it all in. Like I can, I'm not going to eat till my stomach hurts. Like that's just like, that's everything I'm against. So I'm just worried about that. But I mean, I can try. I mean, like I said, if I don't, you know me, if I don't like it, I'll give it a week and I'll be like, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. But I think it'd be interesting. I like like a challenge. It is, it's fun to um, never turn down a challenge because I think people challenge you for a reason and yeah, we'll see. So, would you be interested in challenging D for a, uh, let me know. This is really good. <laughs> this is like a little decadent treat. And I have my water. Because if you watched my video on Monday, during my challenge, which is the fall challenge, challenging our behaviors and um this week week eight is water so that was one of the things bring it with you like i don't expect to drink this all when i'm out but i will definitely take a few sips and a few sips is more than i'm having if i left it at home so you look like that way so i am super excited to go into target and i hope they have now according to the app they have both the things that i'm looking for so, which is really nice. It tells you what aisle it's in. I make it another Spindrift while I'm here because I absolutely love the Spindrift apple. I think it's spiced apple or apple cider. It's so good. And it's only seasonal. I couldn't find it last year. Well, I think now I know why I couldn't find it. And some of the other Spindrifts, it's in the Halloween section. Oh, Emma, we're going to Goodwill <laughs> for a Halloween costume. So yeah, I, I, well, Steve is going to be a, we, we get invited every year to our friend's um, Halloween party. And I normally, I, and again, I really don't, it's not that I'm out to win because they, they, I just, I don't want to be the one there without a costume. I want to keep it basic. I was going to go to a person who identifies as a person in a Halloween costume. <laughs> thought that was fun. But Steve's going to be a, like, he's got all this, this Irish stuff up since we didn't go out for St. Patrick's Day this past year because we were on our cruise. So he's going to like, look like a leprechaun kind of thing so I thought why don't I be I have a gold sweater a pot of gold so I'm looking for a trashy like gold lame skirt or pants I thought that would be fun I mean, even if I don't find it um I could just wear black I think this shirt will be gold and maybe I could find a gold wig or maybe gold hairspray that I could turn my hair gold and maybe put like gold coins you know or I thought that would be something super easy because I'm low maintenance. Like, oh, I don't. This year we were pirates. The year before, I can't remember what we were. Oh, we were um, 
I was a waitress, he was a waiter. We kept it real basic. I mean, like, yeah. This is, this is, we bought aprons and that was it. We were like, yeah, a white shirt, black pants. We were like, we, yeah, kept it real maintenance, low maintenance. But yeah, I thought that would be fun, you know, it would correlate with him. Like, he wants to match. I, of course, like to do my own thing, but he wants to match, so. There's pumpkins in the farm stand. So I'm going to end this portion here because I don't want this video to be too long. It's already been 10 minutes. Um, just let you know what I'm doing today. And yeah, I'm drinking my breakfast. There'll be no chop and chat today. But you guys enjoy the chop and chat. So we're having a car chat. So I am going to go film my rambling and I will show you what I get at Target. And we will go to the Goodwill together. It's an oldie kind of day. Just need a few things. I promise I'm not gonna get much. But let's go in and see what we can get. Here is the haul portion of what I got from Target. I, I didn't get much at Aldi to even worry about. I just went in there for um, eggs. And I was looking for pickles, which I didn't have, so nothing much there to show. But I wanted to share what I got at Target. And this is the reason I went. This there ha this was on sale this week. It is the, the Juice Beauty was the product I was talking about. It was this one. I got this in a subscription box. It is um, serum and I absolutely love it. So I thought to try it to all the, the two of their other products would be fun. This is an eye serum and moisturizer. So I thought, and it's a $106 value for 52, but it was 30% off. So I got it for 30. So yeah, I was all for that. So if you are, you know, want to try, I still on sale at Target this week. I also got some kickback money. I got ten dollars off. I think I like checked off you know different cartwheel things. I got ten dollars off my purchase. And I also got a five dollar gift card when I go back. So it was all fantastic. So I got that. And I was watching Nikki, and she and I haven't seen these. She thinks these are better than the premiere. So. I'm all about to try some because I'm having the premiere anyway. So the Quest Salted Caramel. So they are three points and two bites. Two belts, bites are unhealthy for the... So I thought I would try that because I love a good salted caramel protein. So I'm interested to see how it stands up to premiere. Now I said I wasn't going to get anything in the Halloween section. And I really didn't. I just saw these and I was like... I love this popcorn, lesser evil. Himalayan pink sea salt with organic extra virgin coconut oil. They actually have a little bit of a coconut taste. I kind of really like it. But they're individually bagged, 50 calories a bag, and two points, two bites. I couldn't resist having, because I tend to overeat this kind of stuff. Human. So, but individual bag, I don't open another one. So I thought, yeah, we're going to grab that. Another reason why I went in was apparently Legendary Foods now has crisps. I know, I was a bit excited, so I wanted to try them because I love a good chip. And you know, I do love the, uh, was it Premier? No, Quest Chips, Quest Chips. But these are made by Legendary, who makes the Pop-Tarts and the, the Danishes. So these are ranch. I got ranch and I got, of course I got two. I was only at one bag, but I couldn't decide. <laughs> Between ranch and nacho the other flavor they have was barbecue so we'll start with these the rant the nacho are 150 calories per bag um and there are three ww.3 better balance bites or healthy bites and 20 grams of protein one gram of fiber two grams of sugar five grams of total carbs so those i couldn't resist and these are the ranch 150 calories these are four points for a bag and i believe they are three healthy bites 20 grams of protein four grams of carbs gram of sugar i'm not sure why they're different in points oh there's one more gram of total fat so look for a tasting for these because i love a good chip i do so when i heard they, they have their own chips I'm all there because I love their bars. So that is, I think, all I've got. I, don't, I feel like there was something else I got at Target. 
Oh, I got barely some bones. He likes, the greenies I think are good for his tummy. So I got him some of those. They're not cheap. So I did get him some of those. So, but this was the reason I went. And I, they didn't have the apple cider from Spindrift that I love. I still have about three cans left. I was out of stock. So I have to keep my eye out because that's seasonal and I want to get another case, another eight pack before they go out. But that is my haul for today. Thanks for coming shopping. All right, I thought I'd show you out here because the lighting is a little bit better. What I got at the thrift store. Now I went in for a gold skirt to match. And I actually, this was the only gold skirt I could find, but I feel like it's going to work. I am a leprechaun. I'm a pot of gold. Steve's going to be a leprechaun. I'm going to be a pot of gold. So I thought this gold skirt would work. And for $6.29, that was all for that. And none of my things, of course, was on the special of the day because they have colored tags. And I did get a couple things in a larger size because, honestly, I don't really care. Like, oh my gosh, why would you buy a size larger than you are? Because I like the shirt and sizes don't bother me. I'm not hung up on that number. I don't have to have a size medium. I'll feel like I'm, I've, no, I, if I like it, I bought it. And this, I think, is in a large. This is from White House Black Market, which is a great name. And it is like a chambray little top. See, it has a little bit longer in the back, but it's chambray. It kind of looks like denim. I thought this was just adorable. And Lighthouse Black Market is a good brand. Good store. $4.99. So, yeah. I definitely look for better brands when I'm there. Unless I see something with new, new with tags and I don't care. <laughs> but this was from Chaps. This was $6.49. This was a size large. It's like a boho shirt. I thought this would look so good with blue. I thought that was just adorable. Look at the little details at the bottom. I thought that was just adorable and really in good quality, good condition. And you could pull the things across your shoulders if, you were, if I wore a tank top under it. I just thought that was really cute. And this one I think was the deal of the day, other than getting the skirt that I wanted was this sweater because I googled the brand when I was in there and it retails for over $40. It is A-E-R-I Aerie. So this is a, and this is, comes in a small, but I know it's going to fit me because you can just tell things like, I'm like, oh my God, I got a small. But this is a bulky because it's oversized sweater. But yeah, I thought that was just great. Even like I said, it's, and you can see it was hardly ever used. It's just in beautiful shape. And that was $10. And I thought that was a fair price for something that you could tell that's ever been worn. You could just tell it's, it's just in beautiful shape. And for the price, a little bit longer in the back, but I thought this would be really, really cute to wear in winter. I could put a turtleneck under it. I could put a tank. I love the neck. I thought the neck was really cute, but very, very warm. And this was new with tags. I knew I had something new with tags. This one is an extra large from the brand No Boundaries. I don't know who sells that, but it's made in China. But I knew it like certain things just run small. They do. Um, so I knew like, like, you know, oh my God, you want an extra large? Well, some things they just run small. So you could tell this was definitely not an extra large and normal. So this was probably more of a large, but I love the sleeves in this. And I love the color periwinkle blue. I don't know if the camera picks that up. That's, that's actually the back. <laughs> this is the front. I just thought it was just adorable. You know, cute little lace sleeves and a little, I just thought, you know what? And that, like I said, that was new with tags, I believe. Was this one with tags? So it retailed for $13.98. I think Walmart, that's who, okay, Walmart. It's a Walmart brand. $13.98 and they had it there for $6.99. So I got it for half price. Yes, yeah, so like I said, this definitely, I bet you she bought this thinking, oh my God, an extra large. It don't look like no extra large. I could just tell, look at it, I'm thinking, oh, that looks really small for an extra large, but I know it'll fit me. I think it's going to be so stinking cute with a pair of white pants, white capris in the summer. Oh, I thought that was just gorgeous. So that was my thrift haul. I did well. I know, I knew I should have looked around, but I was looking for pants. I was looking for originally like gold spandex. <laughs> Couldn't find them. So I went with the gold skirt and luckily it's a little bit large. So I, I know it's going to fit. So that was, that was, I was fine with that again. 
For my whole costume, I spent, well, I have to do something with my hair. I'm undecided what I'm going to get a, maybe some gold glitter spray or something, but $6.30 for my costume. Yeah, got to win. So that is my little haul from the Goodwill. I was looking at, at the housewares. I'm like, no, I did. Oh, just so you know, I dropped off a box before I went in. So, but I didn't buy any housewares. I did drop off a lot of housewares though. That was good. So Peter's like, the box is gone. I'm like, well, I went to Goodwill. And he was excited that that's gone. But you know, that's a, a, a fun tip too. Put a box out where you see it. And when you see something that you're just not using, get rid of it. And I, I was good. There was a beautiful camera that I used to have when I, before I, before I got married. I thought, you know, I'm not using it. Get rid of it. You know, I, I was really good putting stuff in there. So I read a lot of stuff. So I'm going to keep getting rid of stuff. It's my resolution. If I could just get rid of cookbooks. My Achilles heel. We all have our, you know what? But here's the thing. You all have something that you like. So if I like cookbooks, so be it. They're in a shelf. So it is what it is. So let's get to some lunch because, yeah, that protein shake was good, but I need to eat. <laughs> We're going to grab some lunch. I did get this at Aldi today. I actually got it for Peter. It is the sourdough bread from Aldi. And we were reading this. And this is really, this is very low in gluten because of the sourdough. So I am actually going to try it. Again, I don't get physically sick from it. I just get inflammation. So it is a small batch sourdough round. No official flavors, preservatives, or colors. Three main ingredients, flor fl floral, flour, water, and salt. It is 90 calories a slice, and I just weighed it. You get it a, because um, they're all different sizes, so you have to weigh your bread. And for 43 grams, it is three points, three bites. So I'm going to have a slice for three points. And you get three grams of protein, so I'm excited to try this. Girls, you know, boys, you know I love my bread, so. That was a good deal, 90 calories and three points. I am all there. So I'm I have some turkey I'm going to throw in there with a little bit of mustard. I'm gonna have my legendary, well, I just did a tasting on these. I won't maybe throw it into this video, but they're good. <laughs> I really, really like them. So I'm excited to eat those and I might have some veggies on the side. I know I have some cucumber I have to use up a heart of palm. I wish I had some pickles. I think we're out of pickles. Yeah. So that's going to be my quick, easy lunch. I'm just going to use one slice, cut it in half because it's a pretty, pretty decent size. I make like a nice big half sandwich. So I'm super excited to eat lunch and I'll show it to you in a sec. I did decide to use up this piece of chicken breast that I have. I make all this chicken for the dog. Yes, I'm eating the dog's chicken. <laughs> well, he doesn't touch it. But yeah, because I want to use that up because I'm making him a fresh batch. So I'll just eat that up in my sandwich. A little, I think I'll put a little G Hughes barbecue sauce on there. So, just want to update some cucumber and chicken. I will show you my lunch. Here's my lunch today. It is seven healthy bites and six WW points. I have three points for my bread. My chicken is zero on WW. It is one point on Sugar Smart. I have a cucumber mini chopped up in there for zero. Heart of Palm for zero. And these. Legendary Foods, Nacho Cheese, Probable Protein Chips for three points and three bites. So there are four grams of net carbs and 20 grams of protein. So that is my lunch today. Can't wait to dig in. Hi everybody, we're going for a walk. Going for a walk. He's having a good day today because it's the opposite day. He has good days. Oops, <laughs> one opposite days. Get the gate open. Alright. There he goes. Come on. <laughs> yes, have a good day today. Oh, don't show him party. I'm, uh, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> There's always parties on this tree. But yeah, we're taking our afternoon strolls. I walk him, I mean, you see. We have a fence, but it's just really good for his arthritis to be walked. So that's what I do. Oh, look, look at my, I didn't realize we had a holly bush here. I never knew what this bush was. See the berries are coming on. So yeah, they'll get all red by Christmas. I didn't realize we had a holly bush. Who knew? 
I didn't know. But yep. I barely see something. What do you see, Bear? Is your bunny under there? Oh, he's on the hunt for fresh rabbit. Oh, yeah. Come on. All right, we'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. I want to show you the pretty leaves that were on the ground. They're gorgeous. They're all sitting there. We have leaf pickup here in my development, which is kind of nice. So people just put their leaves right there, and then the machine comes and vacuums them up. Oh, isn't that like beautiful? Fall is here, my lovelies. Fall is finally here. A lot of green down that way. All right, somebody's not happy that I'm stopping and looking at the this way. Come on, this way. I'm not looking at the trees. Mom, get to walking. All right, here comes some fun unboxing. I am lucky enough again to work with the company Fitville. Fitville does shoes, but not just any shoes. They're shoes that are specifically designed to have a wide toe box. I think I mentioned uh, about a year or two ago, I was told I have flat foot, flat feet. Who knew? I never knew I had flat feet. And he said to me, a lot of times, the way my the way my nails were growing, the way my foot was growing, he said, "You you need more room in your toe box." And I'm like, "Well, how does one get room in a toe box?" You know, and I remember him saying that. And then when Fitville approached me, and I talked to the representative, I was like, "That's like right in my wheelhouse. That's something I need." And I went back to him because I was seeing him for a toe fungus, and he loved them. These are the ones I think I originally had. This is like my fourth or fifth pair of Fitville. And not only are they cute and stylish, but they are so comfortable. I absolutely love them. And another great thing, if you have like an extremely wide foot, I know Fitville has extremely wide shoes for people who suffer. Because I know my mother had issues with having feet that she, uh, having a size with a foot that she couldn't get. You know, the, the widest you can get in the store, double wide didn't fit her. So they have really good wide shoes here as well. So something to check out if you have a problem with, with shoes, check out their website. Doesn't hurt. But their technology is adhering to the core concept of therapeutic comfort and support technologies. Fitville is continuously developing technologies that enable us to deliver unparalleled products. Comfort and technology. Fitville's comfort and technology puts comfort in motion. This advanced technology allows the contour of your feet to enhance your movement with comfort. EVA materials transform you into a dual density solid soles. The state change from just EVA material into a dual density soul is like caterpilling turning into a butterfly. And not only magic, but also scientifically proven. Our extra cushions, cushioning shoes de delivers a greater extent to comfort in motion. Proper core technology turns selected materials into an ergonomic design. Our patented Propel Core technology is a dynamic total of five core components, dual density sole, anti-skid rubber, heel ring, removable soles, shock absorbing pads. Propel Core is our greatest secret weapon in creating the most supportive shoes. Your footwear experience is empowered by Propel Core would be surprisingly steady. Ergo Fit Technology, Fitfill shoes are ergonomically designed that gives you the most amazing footwear experience, springing cushions, minimizing the impact, and maximizing stability. You'll feel no pain when you move in Fitfill shoes. Anatomical arch support makes your ankles more stable, keeps your feet in the proper position, and shapes you to be fully functional. The wide, my favorite part, the wide toe box allows your feet to move comfortably. We are proud to serve the well-crafted healing shoe supports by ErgoFit Technology. I'm telling you, I wear these were probably, that was the first pair I got. I think these are the, which I wear often. You probably see me walk when I do my, I love all of them. These are like a green with orange. I said, this is so stylish. I had them on today. I love them. I wear them all the time. They're just so super comfortable. And I got these on my last collab. These are sandals. They have Velcro. They Velcro right in. I wore these when we went on a day trip thinking, and we walked. I took a chance wearing these and it was fantastic. My feet never hurt and they're absolutely adorable. Look at that. So cute for summer, adjustable here and on the side. So you couldn't beat that. 
again i can't say that i just when they when they approach me when you see a, another when you see a company that's a repeat on this channel it's because i love them i do not do things i do not like and i would not purchase know that i i i bring to you things that i love because i think you might like them too and remember no hard sell here just scroll along if you're not interested but they are offering my lovelies 30 percent off and if you are a new customer i believe it's 35 percent. everything will be linked down below so i thank them for that generous so she told oh, i got two new pair oh my god these are so cute look at these they're black I don't own a black pair of sneakers with a white sole and look at that pink <gasps> that pop of pink can you just with their logo people might think it's fila but it's fitville and you know i'm telling me different i'm anything you want but look at that i mean i'm an eight and a half i'm just saying stunning oh i can't wait to wear these oh, I, I i'm a little bit i'm a little bit giddy when it comes to good footwear and I, they let me pick out a second pair. These were sent to me for review. I like the box says, free your toes, because that's the truth. I, I am telling you, I have, I've, I don't think I've bought much Skecher, maybe one pair since I've been using Fitville. You know, I bought some boots. I should say, they sent me some boots. Can you? How cute are these? I don't even know what to say. They're so cute. There's again Velcro. Oh, on both sides, I think. So, like I said, if you have a hard time getting things on, there you go. I don't even know what to say. They have gray trim black soles and look at that cute little ribbing right there i don't know thank you fitville for producing a shoe that my feet adore and so does my podiatrist oh yeah he was he was loving these so yes look at that like i said if you have a problem with sizing fitville has wide widths i see if i can look that up for you because sometimes it'll tell me if I know where to look. And they're always running sales. Oh my gosh, always running sales. It's ridiculous. Wide feet here. We'll shop by because I know a lot of people have really like my mother had very bad issues with shoes. So we'll just grab these first pair, see if I could find these sizing on there. They have wide 2E, extra wide 4E, and medium, which is I believe regular. So you go from 2E to 4E. So if if you know. If you have a wide foot, then check out Fifth Wall. I just highly just recommend you checking them out and looking. The prices are pretty comparable for a pair of shoes. I mean, they're cheaper than me going to Skechers. I'm going to be honest. So check them out. They always, like I said, they run, they, they, have, they have little sections called 50% off. They have sales all the time. You have my discount code if you choose to use it. You just never know. So I thank you again to Fifth Wall for bring out these beautiful shoes now i will insert some pictures of me in these gorgeous shoes here are these fur lined boots oh they're just so cozy on a cold day these are going to feel really good and so much room i can even wear really thick socks and not worry about these being too tight in there plenty of space and these feel amazing Here are the sneakers. They are so pretty. And I just love them. I don't own a black pair, so this is kind of fun. They feel amazing. My toes feel so nice and spread out. They really are comfy. I thought I'd throw a quick little Thrive Market haul. I did get another order this week. If you don't know, I get some of my healthier 
pantry goods from Thrive. They also have refrigerated freezer items, but I don't usually order them yet from there, but you never know. And I put another order in and I just, I like Thrive Market. Thrive Market is a subscription-based online grocery store that held, has items that you would find at Sprouts and Whole Foods. I can't get to Sprouts and Whole Foods. It's going to cost me more than $5 in gas to get there and probably 35 minutes of my time each way. So I order a lot of those things that I would get there from Thrive. So I will show you what I got this week. I kind of order every other week. They had Poppy. So I do enjoy the cold cola, the cold, the cola flavor of Poppy. It is a prebiotic soda. It is 1.1 bite for the can. It is 25 calories, but it is a good gut health for you. And I actually enjoy it. Probiotics for a healthy gut infused with apple cider vinegar, immunity, immunity sidekicks, and natural caffeine. Five grams of sugar. It's delicious. I'm very fussy when it comes to these sodas. So this is one of the ones I absolutely love. So this is probably my third purchase of Poppy. I even got a case off of Amazon once. So I got four cans of that. I love the right rice. I'm sorry, not sorry, but I we really enjoy this. This is rice made from veggies. This is the Spanish rice. It is gluten-free, vegan, kosher, 11 grams of complete protein, and 6 grams of fiber per serving. 165 calories for one-third cup dry, which comes to be three-quarter cup cooked. And 165 calories for that serving, three Weight Watcher points, five bites. 11 grams of protein, 2 grams of fat, 30 grams of carbs. We just like this. Honestly, I know I was talking about substituting rice, but I actually like this. So I just did. I wanted to say what veggies it's made from. Lentil flour, chickpea flour, pea flour, rice flour. So tomatoes, onions, garlic, jalapenos. I love this. And you can get this in your regular grocery store if you go to the gluten-free section. I do, I've seen it there. So definitely... We love it though. Um, this is new to me. I've never had these, but I've had the lupini beans. And this is made from lupini beans. They're an Italian bean that are it's kind of like a snacking bean. Um, this is the Brahmi Radatori. Radatori, we would call that. It is pasta crafted with semolina flour and lupini beans. It cooks from five to seven minutes. There's 21 grams of protein. Wow, per three and a half ounce serving. Non-GMO, didn't realize it was that many. 20 grams of protein, 11 grams of fiber, and 54 grams of net carbs. And average, average pasta has 71 grams of carbs, so. So yeah, it is four Weight Watcher points and five Better Balance Bites for the serving of two ounces, which is the same as you get any other pasta. 200 calories, but I think it's, I got two boxes. Some things you have to get two boxes, and it really didn't bother me to buy two boxes of this because I like the shape. I thought it might be might be a fun pasta salad. So, and also from Brahmi, which is interesting that they shipped it. I guess you don't have to be refrigerated. Was the Lupini Dip Mediterranean Olive. Zero net carbs. It is one WW point. Two better balance or two healthy bites for the serving of two tablespoons. So it's kind of like their version of a hummus. And it is, if you're looking for calories, if I could see it. Oh my goodness. I don't even, under, I am blind as a bat. I can't even say, oh, 90 calories. So I'm interested to try this. And this was the whole reason I ordered Aloha Pumpkin Bars. I've been enjoying the Aloha Bar. Um, you know, they're, this is a limited edition pumpkin spice, plant-based protein. And I do enjoy, I love the cookie dough one, it's my favorite. But this one, um, we'll see if it's high in nutmeg, you know, I'm not gonna like it. But it is five WW points and six healthy bites for one bar, 220 calories, you get 14 grams of protein, 25 grams of carbs, 10 grams of total fat, one gram of saturated fat, and 10 grams of fiber. So, I mean, this is how big they are. Nice size bar. We'll be having a tasting on this soon. I would taste it now, but I just already had a protein bar, so. And it was, I know, I'm taking a chance buying a whole box. But Peter's here, so he's usually my backup if I don't like a protein thing. He usually does. So that is my little Thrive Market haul. Like I said, if you're interested in trying Thrive Market, 
I could offer you a 40% off your first box as um, a referral friend if you're interested in, in trying them. I just like the convenience of getting the app and sometimes there's, oh, I didn't show you the free gift because I gave it to Peter already. There was some kind of, um, I can't remember, they, there were some sort of gummy things. I can't remember what they were, probiotic or something. Every, if you, if you get the app, you get you know, notified that there's, um, if you order today, there's this free gift. So almost every time I order, there's a free gift involved. They do it several times a week. So you're bound to hit and there's the one sales and all that fun stuff. So there's always, like I said, sometimes the gifts, like this one was a $15 gift that I got for free. So you never know what they're going to run there and they will price match. So if you get something and you see it cheaper, you send them the picture and they will credit your account when you order again. So I think that's really nice to know. They're very competitive that way. So that is my little Thrive Market haul for this vlog. Is there something else I can help with? No. Dinner tonight is seven bites and five points. I have a breaded three ounces of chicken, three ounces of potatoes, and some broccoli. That's my dinner tonight. Well, that is it for me today. We did a lot of fun errands. We did a lot of hauls. We made some food. My breakfast wasn't the best. I did have a bar, but you will see that tasting in, um, where does the wrapper? I saved it. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> You'll see it in what I ate today. I did a tasting. It was the one I hauled from Trader Joe's. I think it was five points, four or five points. It was delicious. I really liked that. You get to see the inside. I'm definitely going to be buying those. They were pretty, pretty good. And you saw my quick dinner, which was air fried chicken that I breaded really lightly in breadcrumb. We had some potatoes left over and some broccoli. Saw my Fitville review and my beautiful two pairs of shoes. Like I said, everything will be listed in the description box below. Those shoes that I got, I will list down there and the discounts. New Newbies get 35 and returning customers get 30% off. That's a very generous coupon. So I have to thank Fitville again for sending me and partnering with me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, welcome. If you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish with D, because you know what we're going to do. This is the health and wellness website. <laughs> we just hang out. We just share food. We share ideas. We share friendship. So if that is something you enjoy, join us here and join our YouTube family. It is free. And remember, if you are interested in being part of our challenge, check out Monday's video. Every Monday, there is a new challenge that goes up. It is free to join. You just say, hey, D, I'm in on that video and you are in like Flint. So I will dish with you another day. Thanks for watching.